Aselson's GERS hybrid air defense system entered serial production in 2024, positioning itself as a potential alternative to the Russian Panzer S-1. The Turkish system was first presented at international exhibitions such as the World Defense Show 2024 in Saudi Arabia and Sahar 2024 in Turkey. The GERS 150 is designed as a multi-effector air and missile defense system capable of autonomous operation, threat evaluation, and weapon assignment through its fire control algorithm, integrating advancements that may offer advantages over existing systems like the Panzer S-1. The GERS-150 integrates hard-kill and soft-kill capabilities for point defense, including a 35mm automatic cannon capable of firing air-bursting munitions and land-based variants of the Gurkdone and Bosdoan air-to-air missiles. The system features onboard target acquisition and engagement radars. The final configuration is expected to incorporate additional defensive measures, such as RF jamming, ASA search and fire control radars, the Kangal jammer, and the Gokberk laser weapon. The system's weapon subsystems include a 35mm air defense gun, for very short-range air defense missiles, for short-range air defense missiles, and a machine gun for self-defense. The GERS-150 is capable of engaging a range of aerial threats, including UVs, helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, and supersonic missiles. The system sensor suite includes an ESA radar, IFF capability, an integrated tracking platform, and an electro-optical targeting suite for target detection and engagement. It is designed to counter use of various classes, swarm attacks, heater ground missiles, and cruise missiles. The modular structure supports the addition of new features and capabilities. Mounted on an 8x8 wheel tactical vehicle, the GERS 150 is designed for mobility and rapid deployment. It supports fire on the move functionality. The system can operate independently or as part of a squadron, with one unit acting as the squadron master for coordinated engagements. Its fast reaction time and ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously contribute to its operational effectiveness. The system also includes a soft kill capability using the Kangal electronic warfare system for electromagnetic jamming and spoofing. The Panzer S-1, developed by Russia, is a short to medium range air defense system that combines automatic anti-aircraft guns and surface-to-air missiles. It is mounted on a wheeled or tracked chassis and uses dual-band radar for target acquisition and guidance. It is capable of engaging aerial threats, including aircraft, helicopters, UVs, and precision munitions. The system's engagement range extends up to 20 kilometers, with a maximum altitude of 15 kilometers. The Panzer S-1 is equipped with 1257 x 10 to the power of 6 surface-to-air missiles and 2 twin-barrel 30mm 2A38M automatic cannons. Its fire control system includes an electro-optical sensor and radar guidance, allowing for simultaneous tracking and engagement of multiple targets. Operational challenges have been reported in detecting and countering low-speed, small WAV threats, resulting in refinements to its radar and targeting systems. The system has been reported to have vulnerabilities in modern combat scenarios, with losses recorded in conflicts. Compared to the Panzer S-1, the GERS 150 features a modular design with ESA radar and electronic warfare capabilities. While both systems provide point defense, the GERS 150 employs a multi-led approach that includes hard kill and soft kill measures, such as laser weapons and RF jammers. The modular structure of the GERS 150 supports future upgrades, whereas the Panzer S-1 has required continuous refinements to address operational limitations. Furthermore, the GERS 150 is designed for autonomous operation, coordinated squadron use, and engagement of multiple threat types with various effectors. 